can I help you? Odds are your lifestyle yes, isn't、sir. great for your life. Studies show the average American sits at least nine and a half hours a day. We literally now sit more than we sleep. Commutes, desk jobs, and couch time make people more prone to heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. And some research suggests a typical daily workout may not be enough to combat these conditions for a typical office worker. When the muscles aren't being used, that means that the metabolism of the body is vastly different than when you're up and moving about. But there are some creative options if you want to take a stand against sitting. You can now walk, ride, or even bounce your way through the day. Yoga balls rolled into this fifth-grade class outside Philadelphia. I find that it stimulates the body better. It、um, and it, it allows them to focus. Turning exercise gear into desks and chairs is a growing trend, and so are companies like Ergo Depot, that sell treadmills, bikes, and height-adjustable desks. And chairs that activate muscles. Converts claim this funky office furniture increases their attention, productivity, and general health. Francine Dietrich says her company's walking stations helped her lose weight. Sixty pounds has really helped to just really sell me on the concept. But Dr. Mark Hamilton says more research is needed to see if using these devices can cure the ills of sedentary life. The solutions that are specific to sitting 11 hours a day are going to involve a large amount of time. Experts recommend a gradual transition with a doctor's approval. Start with short periods of standing, pedaling, or walking, and eventually structure your day to include 40% standing to 60% sitting. That's not an exact; it's just kind of breaking it up. The key may be to keep large muscles moving for longer. Noel Wagner, the Associated Press.